Here you go. We beat Jiren our last time. Can we beat him again? There he is. There's Dan. There's Louis. Tori's already up the road. All right, absolutely time to smash. So I'd already done a lot of efforts this week, but I was like, all right, no excuses here, mate. Let's absolutely launch it. Right, so the segment starts just on the left-hand side where that little road thing is. My old woohoo thing was just like mugging me off. But anyway, that's beside the problem. And so you can see we're powering up now, doing 400 watts, pretty beaut. Um, and just trying to hold the effort as much, as long as we can, basically. The gradient starts to ramp up here uh, already. gets up to about 9% pretty early on. Um, it was about 6% at the moment. And basically, I was just like, right, let's just hold some numbers. I got way too excited at the beginning. I'm like, way, way too excited. I was like, the KOM was Carl Evans, who did 809, and I was like, well ahead of his pace. Um, it's already 11% now. It's absolutely brutal climb. Um, and you can see I'm just getting t far too excited. Going out at like 400 watts is just not a good idea. I think I held 380 for the first five, but... Anyway, Harley's on my wheel getting a decent draft. Like, his watts were pretty much the same as me. So I was on the front doing 380. He was on my wheel doing 380, and he's heavier than me. So he's getting a decent decent amount of draft on me, but nothing, like, nothing, obviously, like, nuance or something. But it was a good draft, nonetheless. I think this we had a bit of a tailwind today, but you can see here I'm... I'm doing some good numbers. Got up to 500 watts here, which is just dumb. Like, you just can't sustain this. this is, it's impossible for me to hold 500 watts for 10 minutes. Well, almost anyone at my weight. Like, it's, it's just not going to happen. So I don't know why I thought I suddenly could. Um, and it was like, I just looked down. I was like, well, there's no way I can hold this. Um, so I was like, all right, well, I'll just have to slowly put it down. But maybe, I, I think, in reality, I held like 365 or something. But I could have probably held 375 if I hadn't exploded on the wall. Literally, you'll just see like, me just dying on this wall. Um... So even now, like the watts aren't aren't very consistent. I was really suffering already. We we're probably only like a minute in. You can see Tori up the road, and I was just like, "Oh, this hurts so much." But I was like, "All right, I can't I can't let anyone down." I can't really tell who was on my wheel. I knew like Harley, I think, was on my wheel. I thought Dan might have been for a bit, but we were absolutely moaching up this climb. Like seventeen percent tank and how like it doesn't look fast, and you're like, uh, "It's not really very fast," but it is incredibly fast actually like in reality um you have to be doing some big big numbs um it was a bit annoying Reese get to some some of my KOMs today up a wild heath but he didn't get the descent he didn't get the descent but he did get all the uphill ones so i feel like he'll be coming for cherryville soon which is quite exciting maybe hedgebot could have a go um because harley did an outrageous time of 755 uh which i'm not sure will ever be beaten to be honest because he was fucking like it was just ridiculous at the time um that's what i can say like i i thought i uh, might get dropped and he just stayed on the on the wheel and then on this right hand turn right hand turn he just fucking dropped me so badly um but anyway so you can see we're still like cruising along like you know what the deal is you've seen cherry Bowl before in my other video probably it's just steep and steep for a long time like it doesn't it doesn't really mess around this climb it's just consistently steep the whole time so here we're going past Tori, who did a solid effort. She got third on the day. Um, she's, you can see, like <laughs> rattling around, really going hard. So you got to 9%, still getting like 17Ks an hour, so it's still pretty good here. Uh, just try to be as consistent as possible. This quarter you could cut, because you could see that there's no traffic coming, so it's fine. Um, there's like no point in taking an extra road, to be honest, and it's such a quiet road anyway, so it's pretty good to do an effort on pretty consistent so you can see here again just clicking up the gears trying to keep the speed uh high and just keep the power obviously my power jumps around a little bit i have real problems with my gears like they're like, just fucked like i can't use the 32 cassette on the 30 so i have a 36 28 which is not really big enough like yeah probably people do on 39 28 but i mean it's just more grinding um and then yeah it's just pretty horrible to be honest you can see we're already down to 68 cadence but i probably had some more gears i just don't really know anymore but it's up to 20 percent again we're just surging up to like 430 it's just not sustainable at all um it's just actually ridiculous uh, like how excited I got and was like, oh yeah, I can do 400 watts. I was like, yeah, you can do 400 watts for like five minutes, mate. You can't do it for fucking like eight. Um, but maybe, I don't know, for eight, maybe we can do 380. I don't know. It's just like, I feel like, yeah, definitely like, when I'm fresh, I'll be able to push a lot, lot harder. So I'll probably have another go at this just before I leave. Still got like two weeks left of Adelaide. So you'll see me go on this. Hopefully I'll get a lead up from Dan and maybe I'm close to Harley's time, but I'm not sure it's going to be fucking hard to beat. Maybe if the wind's right, the wind was pretty good. So around this corner again, I don't like to take these tights. Some people were really like surging on the outside, but here I was like, nah, I'll just take it around this corner. And this is pretty much where like Harley ends up dropping me because on this part here, it then starts to slacken off and I really, the watts drop. And obviously for him, he's he's on my wheel as well. So he's getting a bit of a draft and like all the rest of it. Like people are like, oh, maybe you didn't get a draft. But like when you're going over like 15Ks an hour, you get a draft. So now probably not, but like we get up to like 20Ks an hour and obviously you do get a draft at that point or up to 18Ks an hour. You do get a, a, not a significant draw, but just, you know, save me a bit of watts here or there. Um, but this is really when I start to just die. I'm like, nah, I don't have much left. 
but maybe if the gradient wasn't as steep, I could have maybe survived, but you'll see in a bit. It's pretty horrible, this climb, like even, even now thinking back. I don't think I've pushed myself that hard for a very, very long time. Like at the top, I was like, literally like 15 minutes, everyone's like, oh, do you want to go? And I was like, nah, I am just done. Like, you can still see we're trying to hold over 360 here. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely horrible. 15% um, still, the heart rate's going up there. My max is like 201, which I probably say every video. No, as you can see, I'm absolutely knackered in just recording this video. I'm not even riding. Uh, here, the gradient always seems like it's less, but it's, it's actually not. It's still pretty pretty steep. And here we go. We're about to get dropped in a bit. So we're getting down to 11%, 15Ks an hour. And the watts are just like diabolical, just like below 300 at some point. It's like, come on, mate, just hold the watts. And this is when I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm doing a decent work. Like, I'm not really sure who's on my wheel. I don't have a mirror, so I can't see. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't really matter. Just go full um, and then just see how we feel. And around this corner, Harley's like, ah, see you, mate. I'm, you're getting dropped. And I'm like, oh, come on, mate. Come on. And he's fucking fresh out, just sitting on my wheel and just fucking drops me, like, easy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, up to five, 490. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is good. I'll get him back. Like, I don't want to start surge too much. And then, like, he sort of slightly slowed up here. And I was like, all right, I'm having another dig got back up to 380 and I was like pretty much on his wheel and then he just does this one attack and I'm like fuck that's like a 500 watt attack like you can see from my watts like that was just that literally just killed me so badly there was just no way I could respond to that and he held 430 uh for the last like two minutes pretty much maybe a little bit more I go over a pot oh, I can't even think and this is when I'm like Jerry like I might just give up the effort like I just cannot be bothered to do this sorry I'm so tired this is but I was like, nah, you come this far, mate. Don't fuck up the effort now. And you can see it's just like below 300. And like obviously he's just making an absolute outrageous gap now. Um, and I'm like, here's a 34.28, which obviously still isn't ideal. But it's just like, oh my. I, I'm just sort of annoyed because I did just blow up. Like I feel like if I'd, like when I, at that time, I was like, oh, there was no way I could have followed Harley. Like, oh, he's fucking outrageous. Like, you know, I don't know how he does it. But now I'm like, well, you had the watts. Like you just, you just were a bit shit and then like now you're just grinding at like 50 55 cadence or whatever and like the watts are well below 360 like obviously if i had been drafting it would have been slightly different because i would have just saved a little bit of watts here or there especially if it was like behind dan or someone because he's so big but anyway it gets up to like 24 percent here like fuck that's just so steep and how he's like flown away from me he beat me like 30 seconds i did it i did a pr I got 8.25, which is about 19 seconds faster than my previous time. Uh, so Harley's previous time was 8.47, and somehow he did 7.55 today. I don't really understand, but like, that is just insane. Um, he's just on... I guess, I guess the thing is, we were going faster than Carl Evans for most of it, and he had an 8.09, and then Harley, I guess, must have been real fresh and just fucking launched it at the end of it. Um, but yeah, I, just insane. Like, here... I, oh, I don't even want to watch this. Like, it's just actually brutal. Like, you're just, like, still 12%, fucking, like, 200 watts, and you're like, just come on, mate. And I remember just literally breathing here, just like, oh, this hurts so much. Like, what am I actually doing to my life? And after this, I was like, actually, I'm pretty near the end. Come on, mate, pick it up, pick it up. And then I sort of looked down, it's all the time. I'm like, that's still not a bad time, mate. Like, I thought it was going to be a shocking time. But you can see here, this is really when I lose, like, like 30 seconds, because I'm just, like, absolutely cooked and, like, just not holding any watts. So if I maybe just not gone as hard, like surge at 500 watts at the beginning, then I probably wouldn't have been able to hold high watts at the end and got closer. Like maybe I could have got, even got the KOM because I like blew up so bad. Like if I had maintained the same pace, I would have beaten Carl Evans, but I don't think I could ever really be high. And here I'm at, at the saddle. And you can see it was like 250 and then they surge up again and it's just like, oh my. And then we get to the end and I'm just like absolutely cooked. So I do lose a lot of time at the end. Yeah, that was an insane effort. Um, I don't think I've ever really been that hard before. Harley oh, got 7.55, so I got KOM. Hopefully, Reese Gillett comes down and has a go. Um, I don't know. He Apparently, he did 7 watts per kilo for 5 minutes today, so he should be able to do 6.6 .6 or something and should be able to beat be us, but I don't know. Come on, Reese. Let's see what you're made of, mate. Uh, so, yeah, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.